Now, a joint security operation code named Kundangu the Three has been carried out along the border by the National Security of Ghana and their Togolese counterparts. The operation was aimed at clamping down on planned terrorist, drug trafficking, smuggling, and other criminal activities on the border. The anti-terrorism swoop led to the arrest of 418 persons, of which 324 are local and 94 foreign nationals at the Ghana-Togo border for possession of illegal weapons, including foreign and locally manufactured single and double barrel guns, totaling about 108, while 83 locally and foreign manufactured weapons, plus some 241 pieces of ammunition and 362 rolls of 152 grams of explosives meant for mining uh, could be used by terrorists were retrieved. Illegal miners, including foreigners, were also arrested at Dolapa near Bali. Others included narcotics and lawful activities in national forest reserves, fuel smuggling, amongst others. All right, so security analyst Adam Bona joins me live on Skype to help us to understand a lot of these uh, things that are happening today. Thank you very much, Mr. Bona, for your time. So uh, does the debriefing between the two countries come in handy and at an appropriate time, you think? Yes, good evening and good evening to your viewers. Yes, uh, I think they should have been doing this uh, if they weren't doing that already. A few years ago, you know, uh, the European Union and Interpol uh, helped the, the setting up of the West African uh, police information system, which was to help them, you know, put to, you know, collect data and analyze data with regards to fighting uh, crime, cross-border crimes and terrorism and all that. And so, uh, of which Ghana is a signatory to that particular uh, database. And so my expectations uh, are that they should have been, you know, engaging more. And so uh, it's something that I believe uh, is a step in the right direction. And what would you say is the significance of such exercises? Say that again? I was asking what you would say uh, is the significance of such exercises. I know it's a clamp down on activities of uh, anti-terrorism and also to ensure that uh, draft trafficking and other uh, illegal activities are curtailed. But what really is the significance of this? Well, I think what, what, what makes this particular uh, exercise very significant has to do with the number of people, uh, you know, the, the Ghanaian, I mean, uh, security agents were able to arrest. And I believe majority of these people are people who are not uh, probably indigents of this country. And so it tells you that uh, probably uh, our, you know, intelligence agencies are, are uh, you know, beginning to wake up and help fight the terrorism we are seeing all over the Sahel. We talk about Mali, uh, Burkina Faso, Niger, uh, and all that. And so as far as I'm going, and also the fact that they were able to easily do this in collaboration with their counterparts and also to reassure their counterparts that they are not, you know, probably uh, coming into their territory to cause any havoc or wreak havoc within their territory. So it's significant. And as far as I'm concerned, I do believe that petty criminals, because this was reported as if it was terrorists who have been arrested. 170 terrorists. It's not possible. But I'm happy the Minister of National security has come to debunk that report to say uh, they didn't report that uh, 170 terrorists have been arrested, but rather the counter-terrorism unit, they were involved in this particular uh, exercise. And so it looks like the media got it a bit wrong. But it is significant because then, uh, you know, they, we expect them to do more in fighting, you know, terrorism and you know, uh, other related crimes, petty crimes within, uh, you know, our neighboring, I mean, within the border and probably within the Right. Country. I'd imagine that a lot of effort goes into such exercises. If you have to think about the uh, human capital, the, the manpower, essentially, and the resources that go into uh, such activities, how sustainable do you think uh, these exercises are? 
But when it comes to security, especially this type of uh, crime fighting, you cannot really put a figure on, on, on a cost. But it is important to say that to arrest 175, even if it's a swoop uh, conducted by the police, uh, it will cost a lot of money. And I believe that they would have acted based on intelligence, and it means that you need to, first of all, deploy plain clothes, uh, security agents around the area. You need to analyze the data that has been collected before you uh, swoop in on these people, get them arrested, and make sure you are arresting the, the right you know, suspect. Either they are smugglers or they are money launderers, people who are engaged in one crime or the other. And so definitely it would involve a heavy movement of equipment, heavy movement of personnel, and a heavy deployment of systems. So, yes, it's going to cost a lot to do this. And in terms of sustainability, I think uh, in the current uh, 20, the 20 budget that was read, a lot, uh, a lot of emphasis uh, has been placed on security. And so I'm expecting that if the Minister of uh, National Security is listening and, uh, you know, doing his reviews. He's going to make these monies available to the Minister of the Interior, to the National Security Ministers, and the security agents, so that they can fight these type of crimes, uh, you know, cross-border crimes, to make sure we are safe and sound within this country. Adam Bona, I've got to say a big thank you to you for joining us. Adam Bona is a security analyst, helping us understand exactly what's been happening on the Ghana-Togo border. You see